Hey guys. Hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna keep my voice down because uh, people are getting ready for bed here and Sean the diplomat is just starting to have some food. <laughs> so what an awesome day it's been. We had a bit of a workout session this afternoon if you didn't see that one. I got challenged to use a some sort of furniture, which I used a chair. I got challenged to use a dumbbell and a washing basket. So we got a little bit creative for today's workout and then I took the dog for a walk. So sorry for the delay. But right now what we're talking about is I asked a question of some ingredients that people might want to use. And um, my little sister asked for pumpkin and one of the girls asked for some dips. And then, um, and then the other one was someone wanting to know about what they can do with salads. So I thought I'd share with you my process, my flow of how I create one thing and morph it into another and morph it into another. This is really, really, really awesome as um, the dips are always amazing as a comfort food, right? Because you're like, you just want that, the flavor, you want the texture, all of it. So it's really, really cool to use dips, um, healthy dips as not just a dip, you can actually then make them into a salad dressing. You can actually then make that into um, a layer between like a parmigiana, a homemade parmigiana, or like a marinade or a grill on a chicken, um, or just something to season your different dishes with. Or you can water it down with some extra vinegar or water and make it into a salad dressing. So I'm going to do a little bit of all of that tonight for you guys very quickly. So I've done a bit of prep for you and I'm just going to share with you what I've done. So here I've used the air fryer and I've, co I've cooked up the pumpkin, some uh, capsicum and some sweet potato. Just rinsed them and threw them in there. I've used red kidney beans because red kidney beans are really, really high for me at the moment, which I've popped, popped into the post. Ooh. <laughs> I've popped into the post why they're really good for me at the moment. Um, generally, those who have genetic profiles understand this about themselves and they get to understand what's good and what's not. I'm going to be using some apple cider vinegar because it's amazing in helping the body to digest fats. I'm going to be using, you can use any kind, you could use, uh, you can use any kind of curry powders, you could use any kind of seasonings that you wish, but I'm going to use harissa. I've got a little bit of extra cayenne pepper because why not have the pepper? We're going to use some tahini. I always use unhulled because it's least processed and it has more of the outer shell, which makes it a lot more um, nutrient dense. I've got some cinnamon here because cinnamon is great for regulating the blood sugar. Then we've got some, um, some seeded mustard here as well because mustard is top of my list and I always try to add it. The other thing that's super duper 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 high for me right now at the current climate of the global status with our immune systems is time. Time is one of those things that we should all be making a little bit more time to add into every dish every day. Then in here I've just got some chopped up garlic. Why not? Now what we're going to do is turn this into a dip. I'm going to pop you guys over here. You have to sit amongst the herbs. Okay, so all we're going to do is just place the root vegetables, the roasted veggies. Then you can do this with any leftovers, guys. Any leftovers whatsoever can be used. We're going to blend them down with our beans. And I'm just going to add some of the tahini just to give it a little bit of a, a lubricant. And in that, the tahini, I'm going to add a really good tablespoon, two tablespoons. So it's one can of red kidney beans, two sweet potatoes, two half discs of pumpkin. Use as much as you want. We don't need to be pedantic here. Dips is one of those things you just add the ingredients until it feels or tastes good, right? Keep it simple. Dips are so easy. I love them so much. Then I'm going to pop the lid on and give that a bit of a blend. down and the cool thing have you guys ever seen refried beans so refried beans are made with red kidney beans and they've recooked them so red kidney beans have the ability to become very pasty which is exactly what we want in this dip so that's going really well just slight scrape down the sides and now is the time to add in our um a, i'd go a tablespoon of you could use dijon mustard you could use seeded mustard or not use mustard totally totally your choice I'm also going to add into there my thyme. Now thyme has a beautiful name. Thyme takes time to harvest and to use. So give yourself a bit of time for the thyme. You can run your fingers along it and take the little leaves off. If it's a nice one like that, go against the grain. The other ones I was playing with had jaggedy branches off in every direction. As much time as you want or don't. 
your choice, but more is better because thyme is just so good for the body. Then I'm also going to add in the cinnamon. Really cool here. My cinnamon quills have become my spoon. So you can actually buy cinnamon quills quite cheaply and just use some sort of a, a blender mechanism to blend that down into your own cinnamon. That's by far sweeter, stronger flavor um, than any of the others. But the reason why I'm using cinnamon is pumpkin and sweet potato, FYI, pumpkin and sweet potato with a little bit, hey Dwayne, pumpkin and sweet potato with a bit of um, cinnamon on them and salt and pepper in the oven, you're welcome. They are absolutely fantastic as a wonderful dip. I'm going to add in a little bit of cayenne pepper. As much as you wish or don't. This is always a fun game to see if you win or not. Then I'm just going to add in some of the harissa seasoning. So again, you could use taco seasoning. You could use um, any kind of seasoning that you wish. Harissa has got quite a bit of bite to it, so I didn't add much of the... Um, I didn't add much of my cayenne pepper because I know the harissa is going to give it a bit of a kick. I've got about a half a teaspoon in there of harissa. I'm also adding in cumin is one of these ingredients that's super, super high on everyone's list at the moment because of its antifungal, antibacterial properties. Helps the body eliminate a lot of heavy toxins and minerals. I'm also going to pop in there a nice healthy amount of salt, not too much though. Add some at the end once you've tasted it. If you need to add more, go for it, but always add less first. Some black pepper because it really helps the body to digest. These herbs and spices are really good at the moment for assisting the digestion, but also assisting the immune system by keeping the belly warm, keeping a fire in your belly, which is very important in the current climate. I'm using about um, two tablespoons, no, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I like it vinegary. You could also add lemon juice. I'm also going to add in my garlic and about, at the moment, using my profile, I understand that grapeseed is actually rated um, one of my highest oils at the moment. So I'm going to add about three tablespoons of grapeseed oil. Scrape everything off. Pop my lid on. That was a bit dicky. And give it a mix. And then I'm going to share with you how... Then we're going to turn it into a um, salad dressing and I'll share with you guys just a few tips on how to make some salads really, really yummy. Mmm. Oh, divine. Mm -mm -mm. Needs a little bit more blending. If you like it more textured, go more textured. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come across and I'm going to share with you guys how I would make this into a salad dressing. Here, let's have a look. Over here I have created a bit of a salad. So we have just one of the, the one of the cheap packs you buy from the supermarket. I put it for like a dollar twenty because it was like getting towards the end of its date. Whatever. Grab one of those. I've got some chopped up cos lettuce. We have some um, red cabbage and um, white cabbage. These two are ranked super high for me and a lot of my clients at the moment because of its um, antibacterial, antifungal, cancer fighting, blah, 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 blah. The list goes on of greatness from these guys. I've got some different colored capsicums here, some celery chopped up. Cilantro or um, coriander is really, really great for um, helping with the immune system, helping eliminate heavy metals and toxins. Same with radishes. I could pop the, the, the benefits of these in the list and it would just go on and on and on forever. Some cucumber. Talia requested that I use oranges. So I have thrown, I will, if it's during the day, I'll throw a fair bit of orange into my list. But some, because it's, it's night time. You don't want to have too much sweetness, too much sugars at night time, obviously. Your salads, you want to keep them quite low GI. And I've also got here some fresh chopped um, basil. Now the way I'm going to finish that off is I'm going to pop you guys up here so I don't drop you. And give you guys the view. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add some textures and flavours. So we've got the salad. I'm going to throw all of it in the bucket. All of it. Just, just get it all in there. Ta-da! I also wanted to share with you a really cool fruit that I think not many people know about. 
Permisons. Permisons? Permisons. They are really cool in colour. They look like a tomato or an orange. They have a really weird top on them. But these are actually crispy like... Sure. Crispy like... Um, they look quite juicy and firm. And they're actually, when you eat them, they're actually kind of crunchy. And not too sweet. They're delightful. Kind of like kiwi fruit. How kiwi fruit are a really delightful, not too strong flavour. These are amazing top for your salad. So fruits like this, I know that Natalie will be losing her cool over the fact that I'm adding fruits into my salad. The other thing you could do is add some pomegranate. If pomegranate's really high in your list, add some pomegranate or some plum. But then create different textures. So the, the key to a really good, interesting salad that you're not going to lose yourself in is to um, create different flavours, textures and different elements of the salad. So you, a salad with leafy greens is boring things chopped up as a salsa can be boring so create different elements in which you are serving in a salad so I would then grab my zucchini and create some zucchini ribbons and then I would grab a carrot and do the same turn it on the side there we go And then you have your ribbons. These can be used as pasta, these can be used in salads, anything you want. I'm giving you guys just some different textures, some different varieties on how to chop things up into my salad. The other thing that people don't always think about with salads and things that you can add is adding in your different protein sources. You don't need to add chicken. If you're an endomorph body type, you don't want to be weighing down your digestive system with heavy things like carbs at night time heavy animal proteins at night time. So the way, if you really, really need to fill yourself up, you could be doing things like um, lentils, cooking some lentils and throwing them through it. The other one that I really love is adding some texture and some things with, if you guys seen in Aldi at the moment, they've got mung bean pasta and um, uh, edam is it edamame beans. They've got a couple different um, mung bean, black bean pastas. These are really cool. They're very quite strong textured and flavored. But if you just chop them up, you can chop that through your salad. For instance, let's just go like this. Just share it on a chopping board. If I was to just chop those up or pour it, break them up however you want. Mix them up on my chopping board. And now, let's get a little creative and take a little bit of our dip. With my spoon. Oh, and the other thing, before I do that, I forgot that I made you guys a few special things. The other thing I would do on my salads is take some garlic and some leek. So leek is super, super healthy and super great for your digestive system, your immune system. So is garlic. So quite often to make a different texture and flavor on my salads, I'll actually cook off some garlic and some leek, sprinkle it on top of my salad. And then for my dressing, so before we made the dip, so I'm just gonna grab a spoon of the dip. Do you like my makeshift um, stand here, Clint? Yeah. <laughs> Good old MacGyver here. I'm gonna add in some extra apple, um, apple cider vinegar. You could add lemon juice, orange juice, whatever you wish. MacGyver. 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 There you guys go. I'm MacGyver. <laughs> Okay, so the other day you guys in um, the groups would have seen me create this. This is actually um, steamed fennel. My girlfriend Kelsey found a box, a whole box full of fennel for $2. And she's like, yo, you want it? I was like, ah, bring it, $2 for a whole box of fennel. So what I did was I actually chopped the whole thing of the fennel down, steamed the whole lot. Um, why I know on TV? Oh, Michael, I love you to pieces. Um, steamed the whole lot of the fennel. Why am I not on TV? Because I live in active wear. Is anybody else like loving living in active wear at the moment? Like, I'm pretty sure I sleep, eat, rave in my bedroom and repeat wearing active wear all day long. Uh, with no shame. Anyway, so this here is just pureed fennel with a couple herbs and spices in it. Really, really great. Fennel is the, like the, the dynamite. Like, 
fennel and leek and garlic and thyme are the superfoods of the world that people don't even know exist and people don't realize how versatile they are. So I'm going to take some of that puree. It's just a puree. Look, I'm going to add that into my dressing. I know you're like going, what the heck? But please trust me. Please just trust. It's all vegetables and the wonderful thing is, is you can create these sorts of dressings. Mix that in a cup. Make it as thick or as thin as you like. But y'all see in those fancy restaurants, everyone's always like getting like a daub or a smear of their dressing and then you gotta mix the salad into it. Kind of annoys me. Cause I'm like, a salad, I want it dressed and I want it dressed well. So give me a proper salad dressing. So I'm gonna add a little bit more apple cider vinegar. And if you want, you can add a little bit of water to that. And then what I'm gonna do is dollop it over my salad. We're doing chopping board salads tonight. I'm going to take my pomegranate. Where's my lines? Sometimes you win and sometimes you don't. And I know we just said pomegranate, but this one is nasty. Nasty. That is a very bad pomegranate. So we're not going to have that tonight. But I'm going to just make something else up. So instead, I'm going to chop up some little bit more of the pomelo and make sure we got some pretty bits of orange on top. The other thing you can do in your salads is chopping on seeds and nuts and things like that. more pieces of this. Isn't it funny cats know when you're at the chopping board? They just hear it. Alright, so that there is my salad. I kid you not, I could easily eat this off the chopping board. Have been known to eat out of saucepans because why create dishes? Is anybody else with does anybody else eat their salads or their food out of the saucepan? I'm like why do I want to create another piece of dishes that I have to clean? Just eat out of the pan. Anyway, so I'm going to share with you guys this amazing salad. So look, there's all these textures, all these flavors. We've got cabbage, cilantro, we've got capsicum, we've got lettuce, we've got black bean pasta, we've got pasta made from carrots, we've got pasta made from zucchini, we've got all textures and flavors, we've got cucumber and a beautiful thick dressing that I'm going to smoosh through there. It's going to get really messy, really ugly and potentially end up on my chin. But that salad is going to be delicious. We've also got in here our cooked um, fennel. Our uh, fennel, fire out Brussels sprout. We've got our cooked leek and garlic in here, which is nice and crunchy. And all of that together is going to be absolutely divine. Warning, that's a bad pomegranate. <laughs> and an epic fail in a cooking show. You just never know until it actually opens up. But then we'll come back to the beautiful salad. So guys, salads don't have to be boring. Salads can be wonderful, tasty, and gorgeous. Dips don't have to be hard. They can be made from any leftover vegetables, any legumes. And you always want to make sure you've got a vinegar component, a salt component. Um, we'll come back over here. You always want to have some kind of a mustard usually because they're just amazing. As many herbs and spices as you can possibly put in there, like cinnamon. And then you want to have a fat content, a fat content of some kind. And it can be the oils and or nuts and seeds. It makes a wonderful, balanced, delicious um, dip from any vegetables. I've been well known to take, um, I'll bring it up here. I've been well known to take things like um, leftover root veggies or cooking up um Carrot, throwing carrot in the oven with your curry pastes and roasting that off and blending it down with some, throw your cashews in there just about 10 minutes before the end of the cooking of the carrots and it, it caramelizes the, um, the, the nuts and it caramelizes it with the juice and you end up with the most gorgeous, delightful sensual dip made from carrot and cashews and curry. Who knew? <laughs> so sensual food, Delicious food, comfort food does not have to be bad for you. Tomorrow, tune in. I've been requested by the Vulcan crew to create something for dessert that is chocolatey 
and we had a discussion and it looks like I might be making some sort of a homemade Nutella treat. How does that sound? Nice? Cool. Stay tuned. Stay here. Welcome all into this group. This will be my main hub for doing everything. Keep it simple, silly. Kiss.